Let's find the directional derivative of our function at the given point in the direction of our vector v. So we have our function f x, y, z is equal to x squared y plus y squared z. The point is 2, 5, 8, and the vector v is 2, negative 1, 2. So first we need to know that we want to find the direction in the direction of the vector v which is equal to, or of our function, f x y z is equal to the gradient of the function f x y z times, not just the vector v, but the magnitude of, uh, well, not the magnitude, the unit vector that we can get, which is basically it's vector v over the magnitude of vector v. Okay, so let's find, the first of all, the gradient of our function which is a composition of all partial derivatives. And this is not hard stuff if you know all of this stuff because it's it's just mechanical, honestly. Partial derivative with respect to x is just gonna be treating y and z as a constant. So it's y 2x plus, so y and z is constant, so it's zero. So 2xy. Partial derivative with respect to y, treating x and z as a constant. Um, we have x squared plus z 2y, which is, of course, x squared plus 2yz. And then partial derivative with respect to z is going to be treating x and y as a constant, so it's going to be y squared. Now putting them all together, we have the gradient of our function x, y, z is equal to, I'll remove this and I'll write it in place of that. So the gradient of our function x, y, z is equal to 2xy comma x squared plus 2yz comma y squared. Now to evaluate at the point 258, we will just get 2 times 2 times 5 comma 2 squared which is 4 plus 2 times y times z which is I think it's 80. Let me just double check. Uh, that looks like it's 80. And then finally, y squared, which is just 5 squared is 25. So this is, this is just 20, 84, 25, which is our gradient. Now we have to find our unit vector. We have our vector, and the magnitude of our vector um, is the square root of 2 squared is 4 plus... 1 plus 4, which is 3. The square root of 9 is 3. So we obviously don't have a vector that's a unit vector, so we have to find the unit vector. We'll call that u, which is going to be the vector v over the magnitude of the vector v. Vector v is 2, negative 1, 2. The magnitude is 3. So this ends up being, let's make that a little bigger, 2 thirds, comma, negative 1 thirds, comma, 2 thirds, Okay, hope that didn't, yeah, that didn't go off the screen. Okay, so that's good. And we can go ahead and find the direction derivative in the direction of u, which is also the same thing as the direction of v. They're both the same thing. f, x, y, z is the gradient, which is, uh, let me just specify what x, y, z are. It's 2, 5, 8. So the gradient is just 20, 84, 25 dotted with the unit vector, which is 2 thirds, negative 1 thirds, and 2 thirds. So just to continue our work, this is a lot of mechanical stuff, honestly. If you know all of this, it's very easy. This is a free question. 20, 2 thirds, 84, 
negative one third. There's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of free questions like this, as long as you don't make mistakes. Okay, this is forty thirds minus eighty four thirds. Uh, plus 50 thirds. So just to write this as 40 minus 84 plus 50, which is 6 thirds or 2. That is a nice answer to have, and that is our directional derivative of a function at the given point in the direction of a vector of v. Um, yeah, and, and u is also in the u is literally the direction of vector v, it's a, it's a vector that is in the same direction, so it's fine. It's the same thing, so that is our answer.